Yeah, and, and first of all, you got to remember that last month the governor was forced to withdraw her first pick to run DCS after accusations of mismanagement had surfaced. Now, it's David Lujan who will have to face what has turned out so far to be a very tough confirmation process. Lujan is a former state lawmaker who currently serves as the leader of the Children's Action Alliance. He's aware of the newly formed Senate Nomination Committee's record when it comes to approving the governor's choices to run critical state departments. Now, last month, the Republican-led panel rejected Hobbs's pick to head the state health department. And Lujan told me he's prepared for what he expects will be a very tough hearing. I'd be surprised if I didn't. But, you know, I've been through, you know, I'm a legislator. I've been in the legislature. I've been a lawyer. You know, I've been through some pretty tough things, so I feel like I can handle it. And I, I want to just tell them about myself and why I want to do this job and why it's important for the state of Arizona that we protect our children. And Lujan told me that addressing the racial and economic disparities at play within the child welfare system are the biggest challenges right now facing the department. Right now, it's unclear when Lujan will go before that Senate confirmation hearing. He said it's likely going to happen after he officially takes over as interim department head sometime next month. Back over to you. And here we are in March, Dennis. This isn't the only department which needs a head. How many nominees are left to confirm and when is the next hearing? Yeah, I was told by the, the Hobbs uh, uh, the, uh, 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 spokespeople today about two dozen nominees still need to get through this uh, nomination committee and get fully confirmed by the Senate. And again, this has turned out to be a very difficult process. I mean, she's gotten a couple of her nominees through. Um, in the head of this uh, nominations committee is a senator named uh, Jake Hoffman. He started the legislature, I can't stress this enough, by saying that he was going to try to do everything he could to block Katie Hobbs's agenda. Now, being the head of this committee, it's a pretty good position to go ahead and be doing that. Now, as far as, uh, you know, how often this committee is hearing as well, we know there's no meeting this week. So this is, is turning out to be kind of a very tough, grueling and slow process for Governor Hobbs as she's trying to take the state in a different direction here, guys. Back into you. All right. We'll keep following it. Dennis Welch in the newsroom tonight. Thanks, Dennis. A trial.